Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always I also publish on Rumble, on the blogger site as an archive post thingy and uh, on Patreon for extra support, everything is also there. Um, regarding updates and the such, usually I go about on Twitter, uh, especially when I do some live streams, which um, yeah, it, it's basically when I can, I, I will go about it. Uh, probably today or tomorrow I will manage to get the VOD from the last stream that I did uh, still processing on YouTube the 4k um, uh, footage there uh, but yesterday I did start off with uh, Jedi uh, Survivor gameplay series there and I already um, basically distributed the completed gameplay series in 1080p and 4k so for better guidance um, mainly because afterwards later throughout this year i will start replaying some of this for sure uh in between uh, when i finish some of the active gameplay series um but yeah at least now it's separated there um yeah we got some old ones especially the first one which is wolfenstein uh the new order uh it's the first one that i started on the channel then we got a couple of them of course this is the completed series uh some of them I left it uh, open-ended to a certain degree. Um, most of them, be mainly because of uh, I moved out of the country, so I didn't finish those gameplay series. Um, but yeah, um, for sure I will be back on those un uh, unfinished um, throughout time. Uh, again, it's a long-term plan there. Uh, but yeah, and later today we got uh, Mutineer Zero to Eden. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it, that's it regarding uh, channel updates. I was trying to remember if I uh, missed anything else. Uh, let's go to the news. Uh, again, um, regarding leaks and rumors, especially with RDNA 4, so the 8000 uh, series from AMD in terms of GPUs, uh, we're still getting a consistent um, stream of information, which is basically uh, RDNA 4 generation is not going to have high, uh, the high-end chips so uh, i don't know what it, they are supposed to call themselves uh, in terms of the chip itself but uh, we will not have uh, 9800xts or xtxs or something similar like that um supposedly information that will be coming it's the they are focusing basically on the middle range and uh, the lower range which will be the equivalent of the 8800xts 8700xts and 8600xts um, mainly it's because of the how they didn't manage to on the R&D part of things um, to get around and increase in terms of the chiplet design uh, thing getting ready there for, for uh, like the high end so they are basically this um, RX the 8, uh, 8800s uh, are going to be monolithic uh, so it's not going to, to, to be uh, basically like they do with the CPU stuff in terms of technology, the simplet design there. <clears throat> and this is confirmed this time with all the watts. Uh, this is like a confirmation with a cryptic message here. Uh, again, uh, somebody managed to go around and, and decipher this, but basically it's the same thing. Here is uh, basically the 8800 XT will be in, this, uh, in terms of performance, will be between the... 7900 XTX and uh, above the 7900 GRE so the Golden Rabbit Edition the, the one that was uh, at the beginning exclusive to China but that now it's all over the place again uh, it's got a global launch uh, afterwards um, yeah uh, and again supposedly the 800 XT will be uh, faster than the 7600 XT or the 7600 uh, but it not will be as fast as a 7700 XT. So got a little supposedly uplift in terms uh, of the lineup around 14%. One for uh, again, if they are uh, if they are uh, uh, more competitive in terms of price, it might compensate even if you have a middle range at this moment in time to to upgrade a little bit because I think one of the things they are trying to also increase in terms of performance is a little bit of ray tracing from what i understand and i think i'm not sure uh they might be trying to get around and and do some uh, ai accelerator things on this series of gpus if not mistaken but i'm not sure about that uh but yeah uh, probably they, they, they will try to 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 do this here what this might uh 
lead it's some uh, huge pace in terms of nvidia and launching the 5000 series from their end um of uh, having more um i don't know because they, they are going to get basically the full uh, monopoly let's say of the high-end gpus um probably they're going to uh, cost a lot of money also again um i assume the difference is going to be the same thing as the between the 4080 kind of a thing and the 4090 which is uh, a lot of money it's almost like the double of, of the pricing even the msrp being uh, 1600 dollars for the 4090 it's at least last time that i remember it's still going around almost two thousand dollars especially the aib ones um, I, I will um, assume that uh, for example the 5080 which is going to be a little bit more faster or uh, more, it's going to be more faster than 7900 xtx so they don't have uh, amd will not have parity in terms of performance with the uh, at least with the 5080 uh the 5070 we will have to wait and see um, or even if they're going to try out and 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 do something that it's going to be uh, blown out the window uh, regarding the competition there um for this next generation probably uh battle mage might get uh, a little bit more competition there uh, in the high end but the predictions were always with the battle mage they are going to try the high end of battle mage trying to reach a performance similar to the 4080 so it's not even the super series um but yeah we'll have to wait and see if you get like up to middle high end uh, so around the performance of a 4080 uh, 4070 ti uh, extra kind of a thing there maybe the prices will be more competitive in that range uh, but i expect for example the 5090 just continue at least two thousand dollars if they launch that one and the 5080 i don't know between 1000 and something uh but yeah uh again this is expected they've been uh, circulating with this kind of information regarding the rdna4 uh, this kind of performance and the chips there only the navi 48 and 44 uh, that will be monolithic so um again only when uh, amd announces uh, we might uh, um, we might get uh, more detailed information again this uh, um, uh, I don't count on any kind of surprises they're launching uh, after all the the, the 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 high end because this takes uh, um, a little bit time to to get prepared i don't think uh, because i think from the rd company they just move along to the rdna5 or the rna4 plus or whatever it is they, they just move to the other um um to the other um rdna uh, segment there uh, to solve that chiplet problem because they didn't want to waste uh, time on trying to solve this rdna4 until the last minute of the launch of the rdna4 then they uh, get their uh, step uh, they are basically a step behind in terms of R uh, r d development there uh, from what i gathered at the time they just uh, skip through to uh, trying to solve this issue on the high end with rdna5 already so supposedly we'll get something in two years time give or take uh, but yeah uh, this next generation uh, it's not going to be uh, like an eye hand uh, gpus from amd at least don't count on it uh, regarding uh, the gaming industry uh, again there has been some comments uh, from cd project regarding microtransactions I have no place in single player games at least from their part which is always if they maintained that promise it's always good to see um yeah we did we only have usually it's dlc stuff uh usually these little things that might be uh, covered with my transitions they usually do these uh, things for free um like the armor stuff that they did with the witcher free and 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 some of the other little things that do that they usually uh, throw out as a as a as a goodie for people for players um but again they don't put out uh of the option if or when they launch any kind of multiplayer game that it's not going to have microtransaction usually that's uh, the purpose of having a multiplayer game is uh, for you to keep around on the game and boost the, well, the experience let's say with microtransactions uh, they don't I, I think they didn't um, directly uh, take a throw at, at uh, Dragmas Dogma to developers there uh, but uh, yeah they, it was this is from uh, quarterly earnings calls things there 
Um, and yeah, but basically the, the single player games, they are not counting on micro, for microtransactions. The quote is, we don't see a place for microtransactions, for, sorry, microtransactions in the case of single player games. But again, uh, but uh, we do not rule out uh, that we will use this solution in the future in the case of multiplayer projects. Uh, basically, that's the full quote there. Um, and yeah, we got some, I think, the, again, uh, the name of the projects, I, I, can, I cannot keep track of those. But I think Polaris is one of those uh, projects that might include multiplayer stuff there. Um, but yeah, uh, they are going full throttle for The Witcher 4. Uh, again, they, I think they are going to expand a lot, uh, especially it is going to be a bigger game than The Witcher 3, supposedly. Um, and the only thing that worries me about these guys is uh, the, 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 the Witcher uh, remake. Um, I think it, they're going to remake on Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it's the only worry that I have, mainly because of the quotes that you have regarding the, the, the removing uh, an um, outdated uh, things out of the game. That, 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 that was a little bit uh, sketchy, though, the, the way that the... Uh, that the pronouncement was made uh, but yeah oh, i'll have to wait and see i understand that some gameplay mechanics are a little bit outdated especially from the witcher uh, uh, the original witcher game uh, they were a little bit uh, outdated by, by today's standards uh, but uh, if they're talking about the story and all the things there uh, regarding uh, more mature content that it might have there if they're going and uh, i don't know i just hope they just improve the gameplay mechanics and don't touch too much on the story uh probably if they could manage to do like an open world area uh, like they did with the witcher 3 would be good uh, because they were like large areas and we got a lot of loading screens um between the areas there even in i think even in, when you enter in some buildings they, they they got the loading screen stuff happening there on the first game i remember playing the game you got uh, i remember a lot of loading screens but yeah, the, even the areas themselves were not huge, but they were good enough at the time they would ca that came out. Uh, but they were not open areas; they were like uh, corridors there, the, the, similar to how Dark Souls it was the, the original one. Uh, you got some little areas there that you can go through, but it was not fully explorable. The areas, so yeah, th that's my main concern. It's the Witcher remake there. Um, and continue with that thing with Drag Dragon's Dogma 2, uh, supposedly surpasses 2.5 million units across uh, all uh, uh, platforms here. Uh, again, they, 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 the main thing is, is still the performance is not the best. Uh, they, they, they're starting launching some patches here and there, but uh, my main concern is still the, the, the CPU bottlenecks there, uh, even if you have a 7800X ready you cannot uh, brute force the problem out of it and i think mainly it's because how the, the in this specific case how the game is using uh, the cpu uh, cores there uh, i think for the ai i don't know if it is possible to do an optimization in the sense of getting a better use of the multi uh, multi-core cpus there um or if they were just i don't know uh, I don't know how, in terms of technical uh, technical aspects there, how they can improve the CPU utilization there, but hopefully they uh, will come out with the solution pretty um, pretty quick, because the game itself, the mechanics there, the 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 the, the, the stamina stuff, all the game play, the story, the characters there, it seems it's excellent. It's the problem of the performance itself. Uh, it needs a little bit more uh, um, more patching up to do. If they can do it, um, I just hope it, it, it's not something that will stick throughout the, the, the lifetime of the game itself. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get a patch on that uh, pretty soon. And to compensate some issues uh, also, or nitpicks that people might have, there already been some uh, mods around. Uh, most of them are camera tweaks, uh, the, the, the weight thing mechanic there, uh, the infant, uh, infinite stamina out of combat and, and a lot more stuff here. So, uh, yeah, uh, a lot of stamina. Uh, the stamina mechanic seems pretty interesting because uh, I think when you start running out of stamina, I'm not sure. If you run out of stamina, you might start running out of max health. I know the damage here is uh, 
every time you take damage the kind of max health part it's going to decrease throughout time and you need to rest in a camp or in a in a hostel or something like that to recover uh, the full max health thing there uh, with stamina i'm not sure how it works properly because again i, I don't i'm not seeing uh, any kind of uh, any kind of videos because i don't want to get uh, spoiled uh, i'm just waiting for the performance to be uh, good enough for me to maybe take a chance and risking in buying the game but yeah uh, you got also the um, excess weight thing there the inventory management can be a little bit nightmarish per se if you're not prepared to to get around and uh, work around that uh, mechanic there uh, we got some mods also to favorability uh, because you got the, the the relations between the pawns there uh, the affinity stuff uh, got also enemy hp increase and got some dlss free implementation mods there and improved ray tracing there uh, again uh, some of them uh, like the last two of these ones the, for sure will be fixed I, I assume in the upcoming patches but yeah uh, we got some mods already uh, out for dragon's dogma 2 again usually nexus mod adds all of, all of them uh, there uh, and lastly we got some interesting news square enix appoints new executive officers um, some of them are the final fantasy 7 rebirth director there uh and team had uh, this this guy here i don't want to butcher his name and again got a list of them there um again i'm not sure how this is going to affect the company itself uh going uh forward uh but they are executive officers again i don't uh, i don't know how uh, the structure of the company is set up and how uh how much influence the executive offers have on on developing games and also publishing them but yeah uh, hopefully they can improve the game doesn't mean that they are in a bad shape but uh, uh, as long as they, they do this kind of moves to improve uh, the overall experience that the games are uh, coming out it's always a good sign for me and i'm going to wrap up with some gaming deals uh, we got dredge uh, is 30 percent off um yeah uh, you got also the deluxe edition if you want to no this is only the deluxe edition yeah it's the deluxe edition here which brings uh, all the, the the small dlc there and all the content there uh we got cyberpunk uh usually it's the ultimate edition uh, you go for mainly because of phantom liberty is an excellent uh, expansion there and it's 43 percent off uh we got also a set of course competizione uh, this is uh, start of yesterday i think the the deal here it's 75 percent on the base game but then you got a lot of packs here and such again uh, around nine uh, packs here they are all in discount also so i will leave it to you to decide which ones do you want to go about this is some more simulation uh, racing games here so uh, yeah i will leave it to you and then we got also darkest dungeons so the first game uh, very positive reviews all over the place i think this one also of those cases of uh, early access successes uh, that you got around 2015 2016 uh, time there uh, and it's 90 percent off the base game but then you got the the extra content some of them are free some uh, but they are all relatively cheap i think around uh, i think this is this one a sensor edition has everything there uh, so for less than 10 bucks you got a, a, a good gaming experience if you like um, turn-based combat and, and a little bit of a roguelike experience there uh, on GOG we got Baldur's Gate 3 10% off again uh, this is one must play uh, we got uh, Children of Martyr 71% off on GOG they got around two days or so at the, pub uh, the date of publishing this video we got around on these deals uh you got children of water this is the complete edition 70 percent offer we got check the lines free 50 percent off uh we got the invincible 25 percent off uh, seems pretty good this one uh and we got wasteland 2 director's cut digital deluxe edition it's a pretty good one and uh wasteland free this is the colorado edition we got the gameplay dlcs there so the, the, the content there that is playable and also we got wolfenstein uh, series so the three first games in terms of timeline story so the young blood the um, this one which oh the new order and then we got wolfenstein to the, the new colossus uh this is with the digital deluxe edition got the 
Um, Freedom Chronicles is a pass there. It's part of this uh, package here. And yeah, basically this is, this is what I got for you today. Um, I will wrap up with the, the usual um, plug on my Patreon for extra support. Uh, the extra support at this moment in time will serve a little bit more for the storage thingy. So I can have backups or backups of the stuff that I do for my clients and I'll take advantage and take also a little bit extra space for the videos that I do for the channel. And with all that said guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Until then, Namimasarao.